Now, another thing um, that came up a couple times yesterday with some conversations with some people that I really care about, and that is this idea of giving things space even when you feel like you need to think about them. So we're big fans of these solitary walks and uh, definitely meditation. That's two, two times in a day where you can get some space in mind. Um, on these solitary walks, you know, we want to think freely and allow ourselves to think sometimes. But then also, I think the tendency is we want to be thinking about things a lot, especially things that are looming, you know, things that are coming up in the future. And, um, and we feel like this thinking is going to solve the problem. We feel like the more we think about something, the more we're going to figure it out. And I think you have to have this balance of both. You do need to sit and deliberately think about things that you need to figure out. But then also, you need to understand that a lot of that thinking, quote unquote thinking, a lot of that problem solving is happening behind the scenes with the unconscious mind or the higher self or the spirit or whatever you want to call that. And it's happening without you consciously being aware of it, right? So you ever notice how, you know, you got this thing and you keep thinking about it and you can't figure it out and you're like, forget it, you know, and you just give it some space and you do something else or you go for a walk. And then all of a sudden you have a drop in. You have this epiphany that comes out of nowhere. That's how the power of the non-conscious mind or the higher self, the spirit, that's how that works, right? You have to give things space. You have to, you have to have this ebb and flow of thinking and not thinking. So a lot of times, so I got, I, you know, I have a talk coming up tomorrow. I've been thinking about it all week and I catch myself, you know, almost getting a little bit stressed and anxiety around trying to put some certain things together. And as soon as I start to feel that stress and anxiety or overwhelmness or something like that, then that's my indication to back off and give it some space. And that's when I allow myself to go for a walk, run some errands, do something that's relatively mindless, and use that as practice time to try to come back to the present as much as I can. All right. So the big takeaway from that is, um, you know, understand that we need an ebb and flow of thinking and not thinking. As always, you know, we either want to be thinking about the things that we want or noticing when we're thinking about the wrong things so that we can come back to the present moment and flip that. Um, but then also we need time where we're not thinking because in the not thinking, counterintuitively, we're also thinking. All right. So we need that balance and ebb and flow. All right. Make it a great day. Come on, bud.